Hi guys. Okay, so I think that looks good. This is the first video I've ever done where I'm talking and it's very weird and I'm going to try very hard not to delete it. Okay, so let's see what happens. So I'm just going to be straining my flow trawl and showing you how I do that because that's a very important step and I didn't start doing it until recently and it has helped a lot. So first of all I use flow trawl. This is what I mix all of my paint with to make it fluid and it's all I've really ever used but it can be really lumpy so it's good to strain it. These are the strainers that I use. I'm sure you can find them online but my boyfriend gets them from the paint store. I haven't ever bought them. He buys all of them. But this is them. And let's see if I can open it here. Hold on. Okay. This is it. There's like four or five of them. Five in a pack. Pretty good. Okay, so all I do, I take a cup. This is what I normally mix my paint in. Just a regular plastic cup. Put my strainer in it. Maybe you should open your flow trawl first. Also, shake it up a little bit. Okay, and open it. I'm going to start pouring it in. very lumpy and then what I store my flow trawl in when I'm using it is just a squeeze bottle it just makes it easier for me instead of having to strain it every time and easier just to squirt it in the bottle or from the bottle I don't know if you can really see this. Let's see. Just. Very exciting process. And then I'll take a little popsicle stick and do this and get the clumps out of the way. Oh, oh, oh. And it's good to go ahead and have a paper towel somewhere near. Okay. <clears throat> this bottle is about empty, but I've got a few more stocked up over here. Sometimes it's hard to find flow trawl, so it's, well... I feel bad buying up all the bottles because it is hard to find it, but the last time that I went to Lowe's I did get all three bottles that they had. So, But I have some bigger things I'm trying to do soon, so I needed it. Okay, so when it's almost full, obviously you stop pouring the last little bit out. The clumps. And all the goop. Okay. Then I'll set it over here. Oh, you know, I do like to strain what's left in my little squeeze bottles too because it can sit and get clumpy and just because the flow trawl is latex based it will get that way if it sits so Mm 
Okay. We're pretty good on that. Alright. So I just pour it in. And it is so smooth and satisfying. Okay. And I usually keep two bottles full of Floetrol at a time, just so I have enough and I don't have to keep straining it. it well, it's about every few days I have to strain it, but well, that's okay because it, like I said, if it sits around it likes to get clumpy, so that's really not too much of an issue. But so, basically, just repeat that process over and over again until you're done. I plan on doing a lot more tutorial videos where I talk and kind of walk you through what I'm doing. And, um, yeah, I hope you like them. I hope they are helpful. So... Let me know if this helped, and um, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Okay, bye.